Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. So we're back again, we are of course trying not to starve, which is not surprisingly what we're here to do. But we're also trying to get ourselves back to life, because we took a bunch of damage recently. We're trying to get ourselves four more spider silk, so that we can, of course, make our vest from the previous episode. And we have a variety of other ways we need, or other things we need to do to that goal. We're looking to pick up flowers here to get ourselves a lovely, a lovely, yes, a lovely flower hat, which we should be able to use to mitigate some of the madness we've been feeling. Get the flower, thank you. Thank you very much, there we go. We should be able to get a couple more. I think we need 12 to make a hat out of, and that shouldn't be too bad. Is it 12? Yes, it's 12. We need three more. Unfortunately, we seem to have tapped out this piece of forest. This area over here might have some, though. So we're gonna go over there and try and grab a couple more. Then we are going to try and burn some things. If we can burn a couple things, we should be able to get some ash from them, which allows us to heal up a little bit before we head back to the spider hives. Although we have a pretty good health right now, so I don't think we really need to worry about it. I'll grab the flowers to make the flower garland, and then we'll go from there. That actually should be sufficient. So, all of the flowers we could ever need. There we go, there we go. Twelve. We'll use that to make ourselves a garland. Ah, <sighs> lovely soothing garland. That should give us a constant regeneration effect on our madness as we go, which is nice. We have a pretty solid sanity bar right now, but it will probably take a hit as we go. Uh oh this is really going bad fast. We need to go over here, get those uh, pieces of spider silk, and make that vest soon, otherwise we're going to lose this trunk, and that's the last thing I want to have happen. So we're going to rush up here to the spider den, try and kill some spiders. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I forgot we still actually don't have our vest on. Put the backpack on. There we go. Come on, spiders, bring it. We do the same kind of thing we tried last time, baiting them away at least. Oh good, that's even better. One by one is the best way to do it, because it's really easy to kill them on their own. We can go back in, bait out some more spiders as they come over to us. Please fight us one spider. Come on, come on. Yeah, one spider, good. Kill them, get one silk out of it. Nope, that's a spider gland. I need more silk, please. These guys are actually really easy to kite now, especially because you can get them to trigger just by coming close to them. That's pretty simple. Ow, that didn't work out so well. Change targets, please. There we go. Six silk, almost there. Two more silk and we'll be good to go. I don't mind taking hits from these guys either because fighting them gives you stuff that regenerates your health. So that's pretty straightforward. Now I kind of want to want two of them to abandon here, but this is what's going to happen. Oh, there's one of them abandoning. That's good. All right, ow, that going to hit me. Come on. All right, smack these guys up a little bit. Ow, there's another spider gland. That'll do. Spider glands are good. Not what we're after, though. We don't only have a little bit of time left before this qualifant trunk goes to rot. That's not what we want to have happen. Got to get those bits of silk. Come on, spiders. Fight us. Not all together, though, thanks. I'd, I'd much rather fight two of you at once, or one of you at once, not all of you at once. Swinging close enough to get a bunch... Ugh, I want to get one of them to attack, not all of them. Can I actually attack them before they make it back to base? No, I don't think so. Oh, 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 oh! No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, looks like one came out after us this time, which is really good. Oh, I messed it up that time. There we go. Come after us, friend. We have to kill you. Get your silk. Please give us silk. No, monster meat. I need silk, dang it. Come out of your spiders. I need to kill you and get the valuable silk you hide. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. That'll do. Attack this one, attack that one, attack this one, attack that one, attack this one, attack that one. Ouch, take a hit, ouch, take another hit. More dead spiders, no more silk. Come on, random number generator. I need to get the silks. That one's empty. Alright, well we can fight this den now, but we've only gotten two silk out of that entire den, which is not great. We really need a lot more at this stage. Come after me, come after me. Good. Kill the spider. Please, silks. Awesome, one more. If we can get one more here, we might be okay. Come after me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Now they're going to stay out, though, because it's late. One silk. Yes. Fantastic. We got our silk. Now we're going to come over here, grab our backpack, and run back to camp before these spiders decide to horribly murder us. Hopefully. Excellent. Good. They've decided to leave off. That's good. We should be able to make our vest, hopefully, before this thing just generates completely. It is getting close to the end of its lifespan, though, so it's lucky we made it when we did. All right, let's get back over to our camp. Thank you. Into dress. We're going to drop right down here and make ourselves a breezy vest. Does this thing have a health bar? No. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Wilderness Casual says, Awesome, we managed to make it before the thing degenerated completely. That is fantastic. Oh, what a relief. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to equip ourselves a shovel. We're going to dig up all of these uh, trunks, I think, and we'll start replanting because we're going to need a new crop of trees eventually. It's good to get it going now rather than wait forever. All right, dig up all those stumps. Fantastic. That was really harder than I expected, getting all of the... Uh, all the silk we needed. I guess I wasn't expecting the fact that they had added a third thing to the spider drops, making it less common that you'll actually get the one I was planning on. Oh, we're out of shovel. Okay. Time to make a new one. We have a bit of day left, so we don't have to worry about making a fire just yet. We have plenty of logs to do that with if we decide we need to. It should be really easy for us to make a lot of ash, too, if that's what we're really after. I mean, uh, charcoal, if that's what we're after, because that would help us make more drying racks. Not sure. Also, it seems to be that if you leave the drying rack filled, it will never actually give durability off of the meat. Either that or the, the jerky just lasts a really long time, which is entirely possible. We'll pick up all of these logs. That should give us another stack and a half, maybe. And that would be nice. A good amount of wood is always nice to hold on to. Okay. Okay. Grab the wood. Grab the seeds. Looking good here. Excellent. We should probably drop in some logs here if we want to actually be able to spend the night. There we go. Logs on the fire. Now we should be able to plant ourselves some new ones with this huge stockpile of pine cones. There we go. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Fantastic. We'll do three in a row all the way back down again to the bottom. Should take up a good chunk of our seeds. I'm not going to worry about using all of these pine cones, though, because that would take a lot of time. We're just going to send down a bunch of them, and that should be good enough. As long as we have some trees growing again, that is fine by me. I still haven't figured out if the ants actually are more likely to spawn when you have a lot of trees grown in a small area, although it does seem like it would be logical to me. We're going to keep planting them, though, and then see what happens. If we get another ant in this batch of trees next time, we'll know that we're doing something bad in our planning stage here, and we'll have to retry. So, shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Night is fairly short. We'll be back in a normal daytime soon. Get them plants in the ground. All right, a couple more should do. We'll go all the way down there to the bottom where our, uh, what do you call them, berry bushes end. That should be good. It's a lot of trees, I know, but it will be good for wood supply later. We don't have to cut them all down at once, either. If we wait till some of them die out, that will let us uh, let them regenerate without having to worry about picking them all at once. So that's fine. Awesome. So here we are, our second day of this episode. That's fine. A whole pile of new trees planted. They're not perfectly straight. They go off to the right a little bit. Honestly, it seems fine to me. And that'll do for now. Stick those in there. That'll be good. Okay, time to do a bit of research and stuff, though. We need to eat some food because we're quite hungry. We're actually really low on food, too, so we should really go start taking advantage of our huge stockpile of caught bunnies because that would be quite effective there. Eat some of that food. We're going to get our jerky off the drying rack and eat that. Delicious. That gives us a nice boost to our food. We're going to make some chests, so that will let us... Oh, we need some more logs first. Refine a whole bunch of logs. That'll let us actually... Uh, store some of these rabbits, which we can then use later. Should be making six. That'll make us make three chests. Fantastic. We're going to put those, I think... Oh, hang on. I should move the eyeball and I can put those chests in here quite nicely, I think. So I will cancel that with right-click, pick up the eyebone. Now we'll try again to make the chests. The structures, chests. All right, we're going to build the first chest here, and we'll try to build another one next to it and see how that goes. I'm not sure really sure how big these things are. If we build another one... Oh, you can build them really tightly together. Wow. We'll build them a little bit of space between them. There we go. There's two chests. In fact, let's make two more, and that should be good to start off with. We can fill a whole pile of bunnies in there. Boards, 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 and boards. Excellent. That's a lot of boards. Actually, we need one more. Okay. I thought we had... Hmm. Apparently not. All right, one more boards, then. Good. That's almost all of our wood used up, but that will let us make two more chests. Good. We'll put one there, I think, and another one beside it. We're probably going to fill this mostly with bunnies, but we'll see how it goes. That's a lot of storage space, which we can do a lot with. Now, we really should put some things in here first. So this one, I'll put some of this junk that I'm going to be holding on to later for... I'm holding on to for later, rather. Not too worried about specific items going in here at the moment. Just worried about getting some more space in my inventory. That'll do, I think. 
and we'll leave Chester here as well. We'll drop that here. There we go. And I should probably put the pine cones and stuff in these as well. So we're not going to need those for the moment either. I'll organize this stuff later, most likely. Uh, not too worried about it at the moment, because we do have lots of space. Excellent. So, let's go sort out this bunny situation. There's a whole pile of bunnies over here. We'll get these ones and then lay down the traps again. Excellent. This did take a bit of damage there. I don't think it was based on the amount of time, though, because if it was, they would have been in complete shambles by now. Let's head back around this way. We are actually quite hungry, too. I wonder if fighting makes you hungry faster. I'm not sure how that works. Either way, we're going to have to deal with the food situation soon. We're at almost maximum sanity, which is great. Very low hunger, though. So let's go get all our traps. This should give us plenty of food. Excellent. There we go. Play down that trap again. Fantabulous. And is there any other ones over in this area? There's one up there in the top. I'm not going to worry about that one just yet, though. Let's come over here and grab these ones, because they should all be full by now, with all these rabbits around here. All right, lay down that trap as well. Fantastic. We'll have to make some more traps soon, but for the time being, it seems to be fine. There's some more caught-filled traps. My goodness, words. Set down another one right on top of the trap there. Excellent. There's another one. Set this down right on top. Fantastic. Grab this one. Look at this whole inventory full of bunnies. What could possibly go wrong with an inventory full of bunnies? Okay. That's pretty good. I think that's the main bulk of our bunny harvest. If we come to the top here, we might be able to get one more. There's some seeds on the ground, too. Maybe we'll chase this guy back into this trap. Let's see if that'll work. Will he run into the trap? Yes, he does. In fact, I think he, he looked like he died before he touched the trap. That was weird. Very weird, in fact. All right, lay down that new trap again. There's another bunny trap. Success. Grab that one. Plenty of bunnies here. Not a problem for that. We should give us plenty of food. And that is what we want to see. We'll grab these seeds on the way back as well. Okay, that's why we set out all those traps in the first place, to give us this lovely renewable source of food. And there's a bunch down below as well. There's another bunny. Fantastic. Tons of bunnies. We'll lay down these. The great thing about them being bunnies is that they're not going to uh, go bad in this form. So if we fill up our chests with bunnies, fill up this chest with bunnies, we can use them later. There we go. You poor bunnies. So badly mistreated, aren't you? Well, I'm going to eat some of you, so that'll be good. And there goes our fire, just as it's time to make a new one. Alright, so I'm going to murder these two, I think. You can get murdered, and you can get murdered. Excellent. We can use those ones for food. And the other ones can be used later. Are these actually picked? Pickable? Yes, it looks like they are. Excellent. We'll need that sooner rather than later. We are running low on wood again, though, which is terrible, because I just spent an entire chunk of time digging that up. We did just make a whole pile of chests, so I guess that kind of explains that. Cook up this meat... Excellent. Eat it. Delicious. That should help us with our food situation. Cook up the seeds and eat them as well. We'll cook up the berries and eat them, and that should put us back to a lovely situation. And that is, of course, why we built these berry bushes. And by built, I mean put them there. But you know what I mean. We put the berry bushes here in the first place so that we can use them as a nice, renewable source of food. It's not a super high amount of food, but it's enough that should keep us going for a while. Awesome. That's that. We can, of course, cook these berries now. We aren't getting in trouble, though. It's going to get certain colder soon. And when it does, we're going to want to have access to that food. Also, we're getting close to rain there, if our rainometer is anything to go by. It definitely is pointing directly at rain now. All right. Fill up on berries. Oh, look at that. Food bar. All the way back up to 144. Not a problem. So we can hold on to our bunnies for later, then. Fantastic. I think we're going to go try and make some more bunny traps, though. Sounds like a good plan to me. Because there are, like we said, a whole bunch of bunnies down here we'll be able to get. Not now, though, because if we go now, we're just going to run out of daylight and get horribly murdered by a Gru. Which is never fun. So, let's cook up some more seeds. Fantastic. And lay another log on the fire. Fantabulous. Eat the seeds. Grab these ones as well. At this point, we're kind of just waiting for night. We'll take a look at our research machine and see if we can't make anything else interesting while we're here. I'd be surprised if we could make too much, though. Have we emptied out Chester recently? He's stuck in there. Let's see what's in Chester. We'll take the stuff out of him if we can, because we're probably going to put those in chests now. I'm not a big fan of Chester having valuables, because I'll never remember where he is or what they have. So, that's that. Actually, I put these in my inventory directly, I think. They'll get used up pretty quick. Next time I have to make a tool, they should get used. Charcoals there, and the gnome. Okay, Chester, you can chill out in the logs there. In the trees there, rather. That's fine. I'll put these goodies in chests in here. And if we ever need them, we can come grab them from inside. The box thing looks interesting. The beard hairs might be important later. Living logs will probably be good to have. The niter as well for making explosives. The axe can go in our inventory, and the gunpowder can go in there. Fantastic. Okay. 
That's a lot of stuff done. Well, let's stick these back on the fire. Eat what's left. Stick these into the fire. There we go. And take a look at our alchemy engine. So there's a bunch of other fancy dress things we can make. We should probably try making the earmuffs, because that's pretty funny. And all it does is take two rabbits, which we have a ton of. With the rabbits and the jacket, we should have enough cold weather protection to be okay. And if not, we can always make a heat stone as well, and that should be good enough. But we'll have to see, of course. I don't know how long the breezy vest lasts, or if it's particularly valuable, but it's probably better than nothing. So... That sounds pretty solid. We could try to make a straw hat. It seems like a waste. As far as magic items go, there's a whole bunch down here. A one-man band. I have no idea what that does. That sounds cool. Night light, night armor, dark sword, fire staff. Fair enough. Huh. Okay, what's in here? We have access to the normal refines. Nothing particularly exciting in there. We have access to the same stuff as previously. Nothing in there we immediately want either. A ham bat could be fun, but I need to have pigs to do that. A gunpowder is not something we need to make more of at the moment. Divining rod could be interesting, but I'm going to leave that for now, because I think that just tells you where the parts are. Farms would be fun, but we need poop for that. We might go, we might go make some bees. That might be a good idea. Get a bee box and test that out. The crock pot... Ice box. Hmm. I think yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we'll get some bees. That might be a job for today. I know we have some bees nearby. If we can capture some, that would be nice. Although we need some more spider silk for that, don't we? Yes we do. Okay, that's silly. Let's go burn some stuff then instead. Go make some more healing salves. Nah, let's go fight some spiders. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. But if we go go fight some spiders, we'll be able to uh we'll be able to try and make a bug net, go get some bees. The honey is nice for getting a kind of general healing power, and it makes for some interesting food if we ever decide to get a crock pot going, which we might. I'm not sure how valuable that'll be in the winter, but it might be a good idea to have. Now, I'm, I'm just worried that this thing's going to come alive some some point here, turn into a spider queen, then we'll be in trouble. Otherwise, it should be pretty manageable. Come on, chase me. Yeah. Getting pretty good at baiting these spiders out of here. Or at least, decent. Come on, chase me. It's not the most effective way of fighting here, just chasing us spiders in small groups, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Alright, there we go. Now, one in the back should turn around sooner than the others. Oh, no, he's staying longer than the others. Okay, we'll attack him. That should make them turn around. And now we should be able to deal with them directly. Ouch, didn't do that properly. Hard to click on them sometimes. There we go, and they are dead. Fantastic. Alternating clicking on them prevents them from ever doing anything to me, as long as I don't accidentally mess up and get punched in the face. So, come at me, spiders. It's getting close to winter, though. We probably want to set up more spider traps as well. But I kind of want to get the bee box going just to see what that does. Alright, come after me, spiders. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Alright, he, he should wait there until I attack this one. Good, now he'll come out. We got... Come on, attack! I'm trying to do the space bar trick, and it's not the most reliable, apparently. Not the most reliable at all. Well, let's fight one more set of spiders here. Come on. One more set of spiders, that'd be good. And we'll come back and tail the last one back in. Nope, that didn't work at all. You can chase me again? Hey, I'm right next to your hive. Hive. I'm right next to your den. I don't know what to call it, but it's definitely not a hive. No bees in it. These guys don't want to fight. Weird. One more try. Okay, come on. There's all three of them. Dang. Alright. Bite at me. No, two of you can go home. There's one of you can go home. Someone can go home. I can fight the rest. Ow, didn't do that properly. Alright, dead spiders. Dead spiders. Dead spiders. We got one three silk. Okay, three silk might be enough to make a spider net out of, or rather a bug net. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Grab lots of grass. We're going to go back and try and make some more bunny traps. We are really low on health, too. Wow. Oh, I know what's wrong. I wasn't wearing my log suit. I'm an idiot. I had an empty backpack on instead. Man, that's dumb. Hopefully this rain doesn't hurt my health. I'd be surprised if it did, but if it does, that'd be really bad. Because we have no health right now. I could always just eat some of these health sacks. But, oh, we have lightning coming in, too. Ooh, ooh. Better get close to our lightning rod. I do not want to get hit by lightning. All right, right in here. Right near the lightning rod. Thank you very much. I really hope that this isn't going to set fires nearby. I don't know how it exactly works, but if it does that, it'll be in trouble. All right, let's grab our berry bush here, which gives us some more food. We'll be able to grab some healing from these spider glands, which should be good. If I cook these up, they'll be in better shape. Can you even start a fire at... Ooh, that's a good question. Can you start a fire in the rain? Apparently, yes. Might go out really fast. Huh. 
I was surprised. I, I thought it would go out immediately. I didn't think you'd actually be able to run a fire at night. Or uh, rather, in the rain. That's interesting. Okay. We have a longer night, too. We're getting close to winter, I think. Hmm. Well, what we're going to do here before it does get full night, I do want to stay close to here in case it decides to thunder on us. But I think we'll make some more rabbit traps. I should really clear out some of my inventory. I'll cook the rest of these seeds up, because I think they're a little bit better. They give us at least one, one health back every time. And we'll heal with a spider gland at least once. There we go. It gives us a tiny bit more health, just in case we run into something silly. Oh, this rain could be really bad for our fire pit. I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah, we're going to try and get some more some more bug... Ah, bunny traps. Bugs. Oh my goodness, words. More bunny traps going shortly. And we'll fill up more chests with rabbits, because the more rabbits we have in a box, the more rabbits we can use later. Can we make more traps? We can make a bunch more, in fact. We can make probably four. Yeah, that'll do. We're out of string completely, which is not great. And the fire has, in fact, gone out like I wondered if it would. So that's not great either. But we should be able to round up some bunnies with all of these traps. There's one there, but I don't think I want to go for that one. We'll see how many extra traps we have at the end of all this. All right, that's... Oh, God. We're, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Run. 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 I'm terrified. We're going to die. We're going to die. Get to the lightning rod. Get to the lightning rod. <laughs> that was scary. That was really scary. I didn't think it would be. It was just a lightning strike. But, oh, man, that was a scary lightning strike. Okay. Give me a fire. There we go. Please don't kill me. Oh, man. That was scary. Okay. <laughs> oh. We have low health, so I have no idea how much damage lightning will do, and I, oh, I'm scared of it. That's a scary thing. Okay, well, we're not dead yet, so that's good. We'll stick these monster meats in with those monster meats, which should eventually produce us some lovely rot in case we need to give them some more. I'm not sure if they're actually... They might have been tapped out. We might have to give them some more fertilizer again. Some of these berry bushes, I know, after you pick enough berries off of them, if you've moved them, have to be refertilized before you can use them again. We'll put our spider glands with the other spider glands... We will put... Is it cold out? Eh, it's kind of cold out. No, it doesn't say much about it if you look. Shovels and flints. Nothing's particularly interesting there. We'll cook up these sea... Oh! Look at that! Hit our lightning rod. Ooh. Every time the lightning strikes, it's terrifying. My heart skips a beat there. Oh. Ooh. And our fire is going out really fast in the rain. Okay, that's good to know. Well, hopefully we'll be okay here. I wonder if the umbrella actually goes over your fire pit. I doubt it, because you catch it on fire, but I don't know. Does this lightning rod actually have power in it? Yes, it does. The power is mine, he says. Can we do something with that? I don't know. It looks like you can. It's light. It's lit. Oh. It's scary. <laughs> Stay away from me, lightning. Scary. Man, I, I don't know what this stuff does. It's It's weird. I think this will make us pretty much safe from the lightning, though. Hopefully it doesn't get overcharged or anything and nastily discharge everywhere nearby, but we should be okay. Whew! Okay, well, we should be able to make a bug net now. We can go and look into that. Survival... That's a fishing line. Bug net is one string additional. Okay. Well, we used up all of our, our grass, but it's just growing back now, so we can pick this grass, and then we should be able to make a... Uh, bug net no problem, go get some bees and we'll be able to make ourselves a hive I don't think we need honeycomb for that, so we'll need to also kill a hive in order to get the bases for that let's check structures here, what do we need for a beehive is it here? no, that's all flooring beehive, beehive beehives, where is it? I don't see it anywhere here hmm Pig house, bird cage, cobblestones, stone wall. Why can't I make a beehive anymore? Can you not do that? Oh, that's really disappointing. I didn't know you couldn't make a bee box anymore. Oh, unless it's somewhere else, but maybe we can food. Ice box, crock pot. E bee box, okay, there it is. That's good. Bees, some lugs, and some planks, and some honeycomb. Okay, that's manageable. We should be able to do that, no problem. So we'll go set our traps again. We do have our uh, weapons on us. We'll need... Oh, I didn't make my thing yet. <laughs> oh, man, I'm all over the place today. Also, I think we may have gone over our episode limit. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more Don't Starve for you. Getting very confused as looking into how things have changed. If you liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.